see. Hey guys, so um, this video is going to be this is the last one for Hawking College Spirit Week, and it's going to be one of my favorite ones that we're going to use in a template on. And it was one of the first ones that I've done that really got me really interested and engaged in learning about how to create Snapchat filters. So um, I'm in a coffee shop, so if you hear blending and stuff like that, that's why. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this camera. I got, but if I keep, I'm wondering if I keep both of my cameras turned off, if I will be able to do the webcam, which if you've watched previous videos, I've had troubles doing, so we'll see. Go ahead and turn off the video. Okay, I'm recording. And let's go ahead and close to home so I can just start from the beginning. So this is Lens Studio. Um, if you watched the previous videos, you're familiar with it by now. And we're going to use a template, click all templates. And this one that we're going to be using is actually down there on the bottom. It's Team Celebrate. So today for Hawking College Spirit Day is Blue and Gold Day. So that's what we're going to kind of play with, Blue and Gold. We'll be using some other tools that I like to use, um, something called Color Picker, um, something, um, a website to download audio files because we're going to try to upload an audio file to this as well. So that's going to load. Let's go ahead and explore the other things. So I need, we're going to do gold and blue. Let's start with that. So what I'm going to do is actually search for gold. Images, gold color. Images. And because I don't have the hex code for the Hawking College Gold, so I'm just going to find one. And I'm going to, there's a, an extension, Chrome extension that I like to use. It's called Color Picker eyedropper and you'll see it's right there um, if you don't have it or have a similar tool you can just go look up color picker um, from extension then you should be able to find it so I'm going to go ahead and close out that tab I'm going to use color picker the way this works as I turn it on by selecting it and I hover over whatever I want to color. And you'll see that it captures the hex code and the RGB if you want to, but I always use the hex code. I'm just going to copy that code. And okay. So um, let's go ahead and get started. The left hand side, the things you're familiar with, the objects, the resources. Um, the, the inspector here is based off whatever you have selected under objects. Then you have a preview. Let's go ahead and see if that webcam works. Yes, it does. Okay, so you can see how it works on my face. Um, it's got the it's got the coloring and everything else. That was the default of the template. So we're going to customize this a little bit. So um, let's start with the top here. So Team Celebrate Controller, Edit Me. That's pretty much where we're going to do a lot, if not all of our stuff. So let's start with the primary color. And we'll select that. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to use this color because I want to. That blue. And the secondary color. And now I'm going to paste that hex code in there that I grabbed. And you can see that's the color. And do I want to add a tertiary color, which is basically a third color? And no, I don't. So I'm going to turn that off. Okay. You can see that's changed a little bit. So the team logo. So let's go ahead and upload. So we go to resources. Let's go ahead and upload the Hawking College mascot. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
There it is. Okay. So we got the Hawking College mascot. Remember, if you click on it, it'll show you what you've had. So let's go ahead and go back to the Team Celebrate controller under Team Logo. We're going to go ahead and drag that in there. And you can see now that the logo is now on top of my eye. Like if I close my eye, it's like right there. Which is cool. It's cool. It's like I said, this is one of my favorite filters. Um, so the confetti, we have it showing confetti. You can see it falling. Now we can turn that off and we can turn it on because that's cool. We want confetti. We can um, play with the intensity of the confetti. Make it a lot of confetti. We can customize the color of the confetti if we want. Um, but I want it to be the color we're already using. So I'm not going to check that. The face paint. So the face paint's fun too. So you see the vertical three. You got the, the blues on the out and then the gold in the middle. We can change this to lines. Take off my glasses. And you can see how it's like almost like a football player, you know. Um, swirls. That's cool. Half. I don't like this one. Quarter. I don't think I like this one. No, I don't like this one either. Vertical three, nah, I don't like that one. Horizontal three, don't like that one. But you know, you play with what you like. And what I like is usually the lines or the swirls. I'm gonna stick with the swirls. Okay, so we can change um, how, you can um, edit how strong the color is on there. Make it like darker or more opaque. And then make it really light transparent and want to do the darker okay you can choose to show the face logo or not but it's cool so we want it and um let's see my eye color looks weird anyways um oh choose left eye right eye full face Okay. Um, let's see. Left cheek. Right cheek. Both cheeks. I like the eyes, so I'm going to put over my left eye. Eh, maybe right eye. Let's do right eye. And you can cho choose how strong, how intense it is, and how light. I want to make it as tense as possible. The screen logo is right here in the top right hand corner. And you, you'll notice it's the same thing. Once we change this face logo, this changed as well. Um, so do we want to show the screen logo or not? Yes, we do. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. But you can change the custom face paint color as well. Um, yes. Do we want in the top right, top left? top middle wherever we want okay i want it in the top middle i think so we can choose how intense it is how strong out the alpha um and it's one so it's the highest it's going to go we can change the size we can change the offset on the x-axis, which is across. So I can move it across a little bit. Yeah. And the, on the y-axis, which is up and down, wrong way. There we go. Okay, the banner is where it says gold down here on the bottom. So we can choose whatever we want um, to say, or we can just take it off. I didn't think of anything to put down there, so we're just going to take it off. Um, let's see. Now the audio. Let's go ahead and grab that audio file. So one of the resources that you can use for audio file is um, I like to use Internet Archive. And it needs to be a pretty short snippet of a file. If you get too large of an audio file, um, it exceeds the size for that you can create the Snapchat filter. So it needs to be pretty short. 
Um, so let me make sure it's the right one. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I'm going to select the MP3 and download it. I'm gonna pause that and then click on here and download it. It's already done. And then I'm gonna click on audio, audio track. Probably have to upload it in the resources first. So resources from files. It's in my downloads, open, and I probably just drag that in there. Yep. So you can choose if you want it to loop um, or if you have to adjust the volume. Um, let's see. Okay. And I don't know if there's a way to preview the audio or not on here. Let's just keep one. And um, that's pretty much it. This is blue gold, and it took me, I think, 15 minutes to do this. And it's a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and send it to the lens. Okay, so it's going to my lens, um, and let's see, it's loading, and you can see how, it's just basically everything that you're seeing right here, except let's go ahead and practice the audio. Um, I have this up, hold on, I'm going to have the volume down. Shoot, hold on. Have the volume down. Okay. Hold up. So if I press it, I believe. Nope. Ah, let's see, did I miss something? I don't think so. Let's try sending it to lens again. I don't think I missed anything. I don't know why the audio is not working. So we got a call in the game. Uh, that should work. That should work. Let's go ahead. user error okay when I hit the volume button it keeps going. it works okay so that's pretty much it um, let's go to project info let's change this um, let's see let's find something I know we used this in the past earlier this week, but we'll just go ahead and reuse it. Hit apply. Celebrate. Um, fucking call it.
let's do celebrate let's just leave it off hockey and we can leave it on the front and the rear and you'll notice the size of this is larger than what most of us um that we've done this week most of the ones we've done this week have been less than one megabyte this one is more but it's still not over four so we're good hit apply yeah and then hit publish Yeah, who are you around? I see you all. Help help you out. All right, see ya. All right, I'm gonna go get snack crack ball. And I'm sorry, I was looking at something. Okay, community lens. And you'll notice I don't edit my video, so just, yeah. Um, edit. Edit. There we go. So the tags, and these are just kind of key tags that kind of describes, you know, what you filter you have. So if somebody wants to look for a particular filter, they might be able to find it under these tags. Um, okay, um, let's leave it at that. Uh, for the trigger, it needs to be a person and we're going to click done and we're not going to do the preview we're just going to hit submit Okay, so this one took forever that we did yesterday. It was like, I think, six o'clock, which is way longer than it usually takes for this one to, uh, for me to get that email. So this is going to be under review, and hopefully it should only be a few minutes before it's live. This one took several hours yesterday, and I'm not entirely certain why. But we did get some messages yesterday about there being issues with the server, so I just assumed something was going on at their end. Could be wrong. I don't know. It just eventually worked. That's all I care. Um, let's see. And, and that's pretty much it. And I think I've kind of always skip over this. I do this after I stop this video. But if you want to save or when you get ready to go to close to home, do you want to save it? Yes, um, you can save it. Hawking College um, Spirit Week is what I'm naming mine. Celebrate Hawking. And then hit save. And that's it. So, um, hope you've enjoyed this week of Snapchat filters. It's been a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun to make. And um, they are actually a really great marketing tool as well. So, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.